fishing. I know you used to do a lot of fishing. Now, do you have any time to uh, go out there and do some fishing, my friend? Over. Fishing? <laughs> fishing for money. Uh, I would like to fish for money. Hi, hi. No, no. I think you remember the days when my kids were younger and I got crazy on fishing. I bought the <laughs> fishing rods from Sicily with my friend and I used to go. But no, I don't have time. They're still here and, and obviously... Well, <clears throat> at the moment, I'm more dedicating myself to the gym, QSL. Ah, QSL, yes. That's the most important thing is keeping yourself physically fit. Uh, we do a lot of running around at work and uh, here on the property, as, as you know, if you go to my QRZ page, uh, there's nothing flat <laughs> over here. My, my uh, property is all on the side of a mountain here, so uh, every, everything is hilly here, so you get your exercise uh, just walking around. Even going down to the mailbox is all downhill and walking back up, it's a good steep uh, 250 feet climb back up the mountainside, over. Wow, there you go with the parrot, Mr. Martin Longson from New York, USA, Kilo 2 Tango Radio Delta. Yes, I like to visit your QRZ.com webpage. And there you go, your equipment. Absolutely fantastic. I'm assuming you are using the same microphone, the Hale PR78. Well, I'm not sure. But anyway, it's similar like mine. And I see the antenna. I think these are uh, recent pictures. I'm not sure. But obviously, you chose a very good location. I know this story when you spoke to the, your uh, XYL, when you deciding to find a new location. And uh, there you go. You managed to find the best location in the world, in my opinion, because you're coming very strong. QSL. Ah, thank you, Dione. Thank you, my friend. Yes, and you're very strong, too. You're 15 dB solid over S9. We got great conditions tonight. I did put the spot on the cluster for you. And uh, you got a great memory about the story when I told you. <laughs> a very good memory, Dione. I tell you that. You got a good memory, but when you work in an emergency room, you got to have that type of uh, memory because you got to remember everything that people tell you, you know, or is uh, medication you have to uh, put into somebody and what's their, uh, you know, you got to figure out what's, uh, if they have any allergies and remember all this stuff in your head on a, you know, in a script second because you have to save life so you, on your side my friend I won't keep you Dione because I know there's a big pile up waiting to get to you so why you got such a strong single and hopefully I can catch you again tomorrow night if you're on the bands there and hopefully you have the same conditions a nine Henry five Bravo Zulo your friend Martin here in upstate New York I wish you all the very best from my family to yours and hopefully meet you again tomorrow my friend Dione Nine Hotel Five, Bravo Zulu, K two T R D. Microphone back to you, my friend. Kilo two Tango Radio Delta, Nine Hotel Five, Bravo Zulu. One last question before I go. All agreed about what you said. I have to be quick in decision making. Where I work, I need to be quick, and I decide immediately. I cannot say, oh, 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 oh. oh. You have to make the assessment as quick as possible, and you need to follow. A, B, C, D, E, which means airway, breathing, circulation, disability and exposure. But the three main important vital things that you should check in a situation of an emergency is whether the airway is breathing, is whether the patient is breathing, if the airway is patent or not. If it's not, then you should start CPR. If he is not breathing, then there is a problem. It could be an obstruction. So you should try and possible to remove the obstruction. So if he is not breathing, if he's not talking to you, if he is not obeying commands, then there is a critical situation. He is in cardiac arrest, so you need to start CPR. If there is no circulation, okay, the blood pressure is low, there seems to be hypovolemia, okay, his peripherals, he's pale, and he is not breathing, and he is not communicating, and he is not uh, in good shape, he is in unconscious state, then CPR, cardiac massage, 30 is to 2, 30 massage and 2 breaths, QSL. QSL, my friend, Diani. You know, I, I, I like what you do for a living, because uh, you, you save people, and uh, that's a very nice thing, and I 
know your family must be proud of you. I want to wish you the very best there, Dione. And hopefully uh, we meet again tomorrow. you probably got tons of people trying to get a hold of you, waiting to get you. It's, you got such a strong single tonight. Unbelievable. Uh, such a strong single, Dione. 905 Bravo Zulu. KGTRD. Send me three, my friend. Enjoy your DX and your pile-up. K2TRD, 9 Hotel 5, Bravo Zulu. Uh, the last question I wanted to ask is, what happened to your bibliography? It's just pictures on your QRZ.com webpage. What happened to my what on the page? It's just pictures? Uh, something happened to it? Yes, there's, there seems to be no, uh, no uh, wording of, about your bibliography. It's just pictures, QSN. QSL, QSL. Yep, I never got back to it there to finish. Uh, I had a, a rough draft to put in between the pictures, but I never got a chance to do it. I'll have to do it uh, someday. I keep forgetting about it because I don't go back to my QSL.com page. I don't even know what's on it. <laughs> you, you know, I started doing it a while back and then I added stuff to it and I never went back to finish it up. So um, if I get time this weekend or something, uh, which I don't know about that, I got to go out in the woods to cut firewood, uh, Dione. I've been cutting firewood when I get a chance to go out into the woods there for getting ready for winter because winter time comes here quick, my friend. We start getting snow at the end of uh, October, somewhere between the middle and the end of October, and we get snow all the way up into the beginning part of April here in this part of upstate New York. Uh, so that means the cold weather comes even sooner where uh, the temperatures start to plummet. Uh, so we have to get plenty of firewood for the winter. So I've been kind of busy trying to do that, do my work, and other things that the XYL makes me do. <laughs> so uh, she, between uh, the work and the XYL, I don't have any hardly any time to DX there. So I sneak down here in between work, and uh, now she's at the store, so it gives me time. And when she's cooking, and I'm not, I don't have to cook on the barbecue. I come down here and I do a little DX with my friend Owen. All copied, all copied. Yes, I agree 100%. Yes, you live in the mountains, so you have to make sure that you have a good stock of wood so that you can use for the firework, for the fireplace. I also have a fireplace. I don't fetch for the woods, but I will buy all the important woods from European countries or from all over the world. So I have to uh, obviously buy them, not fetch them. Anyway, nice to work with you. There seems to be other more stations would like to talk to me. I wish you all the best, 73. Nice to meet you, Martin, on the air. Keep up the good work and make sure you look on the QRZ.com webpage to keep an update. Hi, hi. And check what there is and what there is not. Kilo to Tango Radio Delta 9H5PZ. Bye bye, 73. And the local time here is 27 past midnight, early hours of Wednesday morning. Bye bye. Tango, 9 Hotel 5, Bravo Zulu, K2 TRD. 627 here in the afternoon time. 73, my friend. Uh, it's always a pleasure, uh, Dione. 73.